So here he is, one of the more popular fighters on this UFC roster, top to bottom, the heavyweight contender, the Black Beast, Houston's finest, Derek Lewis. Yeah, Derek Lewis is a phenomenal fighter, but he's just a fighter at heart. From the hardships that he had as a kid to his youth, developing and overcoming so much adversity to become a guy that has fought for the UFC heavyweight championship is truly inspiring for anyone that looks up to Derek Lewis. But not only is the story very good, the fighting skill is there to match. And he's got that old school break your face open type of power. And he'll look to put it to good use in this matchup here tonight. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you could never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Dynamite! Herb Dean, Ready. our referee for this Ready. show. Good. All right, it is the UFC's unofficial home base, T-Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000-plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night and a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. A nice jab to the head by the Black Beast. And another jab lands. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Great punch landed with so much power. And he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Oh, man, both of these guys are able to take a shot. Oh, nice work on the feet there by the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Really picking his spots in the stand-up here tonight. That's something his head coach, four ounces Bob Perez, talked a lot about here during the game. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, 
big shot lands. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs. Got to keep those hands up. Might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. If he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. 26 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job there. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Now he's going full mount. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. So a nice shot landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's going to show. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, beautiful counter. Well, as usual, this outstanding striker has come out aggressively tonight, almost as if he's double parked outside. He's trying to get the job done and get it done quickly. But he doesn't waste any action. Everything is so tight and crisp. That's why he lands, he lands, and he can be so aggressive. Takedown defense holds up. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. Using the free hand beautifully lands a nice punch from the clinch. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got you to defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Big right here. Well, he continues to manage distance beautifully and take advantage of that edge and reach. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. Just misses with the left hook. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight all right so there's the end of the round and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent we'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward i mean they've got to be celebrating they've got to be happy everything's working but the other side has to be concerned they have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here we go with round two. That one landed, yep. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice counter left hook to the head. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Beautiful kick. Well, you don't 
blame him for continuing to badger that cut. Things are getting bloody, champ. Yeah, you got to be careful now because as it bleeds, you got to worry about the blood going into the eyes. Now it's time to start being on high alert. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Lewis's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, no fear in that cross. No, no. Eats a jab there. Massive body kick land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Oh, nice takedown defense. Guess the single collar time. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. So Lewis's nose is bleeding now. So we'll see how he. Oh, so Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish it. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the light bulb. And now, oh, no. Now he's back up. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a short striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with. Oh! Man, what a fight. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passage. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. Another one! Oh, he gets back up and barely. Look how wobbly he is. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Great block. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the... Oh! Oh, the Black Beast strikes again! Holy smokes! Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knock, knock, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Derek the Black Beast. Well, Derek Lewis just might be the UFC heavyweight champion of the world before this run is said and done. Congratulations to the Black Beast on yet another UFC triumph here tonight. Really starting to put all of his skills together. That is a scary proposition for his fellow heavyweight contenders tonight. It is all about the Black Beast.